Welcome back to Houston Newsmakers, and welcome this morning to Rice University President Dr. Reginald DeRoche. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Last time you were here, you were with David LeBron, the yeah. former president who was leaving, and now you're there. And now you have the keys and yes, the responsibility. How does that feel? It feels good. It feels good, especially now that I just went through the inauguration. Uh, lots of activity, and it's just exciting to be in this position. You've been a familiar face on campus for a while now in your role uh, there. Uh, but talk about the emotion of last weekend with all the folks in town and just the ceremony and the weight of, okay, I'm the yeah. eighth president of this university and the first one of color. It was, it was amazing. It was really overwhelming at times. And, and to, there were all these events that took place and to actually have it happen on campus in, in the quad with thousands of people um, with the ceremony was really special. And to have Ruth Simmons who, gave a, who spoke and for her to talk about how she, when she graduated from high school, she couldn't attend Rice and now we have a black president. It was, it was, the whole thing was very special. Yeah, Dr. Simmons uh, is a special person. Yes, yes. <laughs> for so many, yes, for so, so many. Yeah, so. yeah. Hey, it was a necessary evil of sorts for you to walk around university a little bit, get the obligatory videos of, right. you know, the beautiful scene shots and things like that. And because of the history of what this sure. is, it's a big deal. Let's talk about uh, what the real work's gonna look like in the months to come. Um, what kinds of things are you planning for in the strategic plan that will make a difference at Rice, uh, yeah. short term and long term? Hopefully not just a difference at Rice, but a difference in, in Houston, a difference in this country and the world. And so some of the things we're focused on is growing the research enterprise at Rice. Increasingly, research is seen as a way to drive economic activity in the community that you're in. And for us, being in the city of Houston, we have the opportunity to work closely with the companies here and with the medical center to really help drive drive the economy and drive discovery of new technologies and commercialization. So that's gonna be a goal. And, and coupled with that is growing the graduate programs. Rice traditionally has been known as an undergraduate focused institution. Mm -hmm. We're gonna grow the graduate programs across the breadth of the university. And I, I suspect in a few years, we'll have more graduate students than we have undergraduates, which will be very different for, for an institution like Rice. So the, one of the most visible projects in a lot of ways for Rice is the ION project. I mean, that's unique. I mean, it's, it's so unique in that what was the former Sears building now transformed into this incubator, if you will, of innovation for so many different ways. Talk about how this has evolved and what more is going to be. Because I looked at the website and I see what it what it's going to look like right. and it is an amazing undertaking sure now the building itself is obviously complete and if you walk in there it's it's vibrant there are people in there and there are people that look like us it's a diverse place for innovation and commercialization we have a variety of different people from companies mm -hmm. and people from industry and students from different parts of the city it's it's amazing and but that's just a very first step in a broader district that's that's around that area and so in the next decade or so we hope to bring that area to life and really help spur innovation in the city. What kind of timetable is there in place? Do you put a timetable in place? With you? I know you're surrounded by a lot of people who help put together your long-term strategic plan or what's gonna be on the horizon. What kind of timetables are associated with any of these things that you hope to get going uh, on behalf of the university? Many of these things will take years, um, whether it's five years, especially the, the focus on growing the graduate programs and the research. These are things that won't happen overnight. There are various steps that we're doing right now. We're gonna, I announced at inauguration, we're gonna hire 200 faculty in the next five years. That's gonna help us with this growing of research and, and building the graduate programs. But all these things take years and there'll be many steps that we take along the way to get us there. What, what's gonna happen with the cost of education? Yeah. Um, that has never gone down over the years. It seems to go up. The, the kinds of things you're talking about, is that gonna take more money? Is that gonna end up costing a little bit more in terms of the tuition for the students? So one of the things that we're really proud of at Rice is our financial aid package, which is one of the most, the Rice investment is one of the most uh, generous, I think, in, in the country where families that make less than 75,000 get free tuition and board, and between 75,000 and 150,000, they get free tuition. So we will continue to support students, anybody who has a desire and aptitude to study at Rice, we will continue to support them to, to be there. One of the things that we started on a program in another segment here today, we're talking about the challenges facing our children in our community and consequences as a result of domestic violence. Mm -hmm. The kids are on, unfortunately on the receiving end of some of that. One of my guests actually taught a class at Rice and it's required for all freshmen. It's called Critical Thinking and Sexuality. Why is it important that your students take such a class and what's the goal of that? I mean, it's certainly, yeah. you look at that and it's, hmm, 
that kind of lays a kind of foundation there. It does, and we started this around six years ago because we felt our students didn't have adequate education around sexuality and health and having healthy uh, dialogue um, and having knowing where the resources are available to you around, around sexuality. And so we started it five, six years ago. It's a five-week class for all incoming freshmen that are required to take this. It's in small groups, and it's a place where they should really free, feel open to have these discussions. Last year, after we launched the Office of Diversity, Equity, and, and Inclusion, we started a similar class called Critical Dialogues in Diversity, this idea of talking about diversity and culture. We're a very diverse campus in the most diverse city, and students should be comfortable understanding that and, and talking about diversity. And so we have another five-week class that's required for all students. So Rice has, through the years, evolved. I mean, it's history that Dr. Simmons talked about. She couldn't go into Rice when she wanted to. But it's really changed and evolved. Now, what's your vision for how Rice is going to be perceived in the years ahead? And what are you going to use as a measure of what success is going to be for you? Sure. So two things. One is we, we need to be more of a global university. Uh, and we're establishing partnerships all around the world now so that we're not just known as a great university in, in Houston or in Texas or in the country, but around the world. And so we're really trying to do, uh, establish more partnerships around the globe. We already, already started one in, in Paris. We have uh, a presence now in India. We have a partnership in, in, in Argentina. So that's one component to it. Um, and we need to be c continue to become more diverse on the faculty level. One of the things I'm most proud of is, is in the last five years, we've doubled the number of black faculty on campus, doubled. And so uh, I, can't, I always tell people the most important thing for our students, particularly our students of color, is to see people like them in the classroom. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we will continue to do that as part of our, our mission as a university. Um, in five years from now, 10 years from now, I mean, this is a long-term thing. You're going to retire as president of Rice, right? I will <laughs> at some point. <laughs> for sure. I'm not sure if it's five or 10 years. Uh, you know, I don't think about my legacy. I, I, I want to leave this place better off. Right. I want more people to know about how great this institution is, and I want to make sure we have an impact on all segments of society. Well, you're starting out that way, certainly with a bang. Thank you, President Roche. Thank you for your time this morning. Thank good you. luck. Pleasure Continue good luck. And uh, some of that 70 family members have gone, gone back gone home. Back. <laughs> now I can get some rest. <laughs> Thank you again. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.